What's up my piano friends? Today I'm gonna to show you three fake piano skills you can learn in two minutes or less that will instantly make you sound pro. And that will amaze your friends and family at the next party you go to. Make sure you stick around to skill number three. It's the most impressive by far and ironically might be actually easier to learn than the first two. And my hope is you have so much fun learning these that afterward you actually want to learn piano for real. All right, so skill number one is called the tear jerker. All you gotta do is find two black notes and put your thumb to the note to the left of the two black notes and then count up one, two, three, four, five, and put your pinky here. So now you have your thumb and your pinky. And all you're gonna do is play these two notes over and over. And that's all you're gonna do for your right hand the entire video. Then for your left hand, all you do is find two more black notes, go one to the left, and you're gonna put your thumb here. And again, we can count down five notes. So one, two, three, four, five. And you can play any of these five notes at the same time you're playing your right hand and it's always gonna sound good. Let me show you what I mean. Already sounds pretty cool, but once you get comfortable with this, you can actually add some rhythm into your left hand to kind of jazz it up a little bit, and you can play any of these five notes in any rhythm, it always sounds good. Check this out. even more variation we can take these same notes but just move our right hand down an octave which means instead of these two black notes find one to the left we take these two black notes one to the left play the same thing and it's always going to sound good And that way you have two different variations that you can play for your friends. All right, so at this point, your friends are already gonna think that you're super awesome on piano, but actually you're just getting started because you're gonna absolutely blow their minds with skill number two, the heart melter. But first, if you like this video so far, if you could go ahead and smash that like button, I would really appreciate it. It really helps out the channel. All right, so for skill number two, the heart melter, again, you're gonna find two black notes and go one to the left. So two black notes, one to the left. This time we're gonna put our left pinky here and we're gonna count up one, two, three, four, or five and our right thumb goes here now all we're going to do this time is we're going to alternate pinky thumb pinky thumb over and over and as we're doing that we can play any white note on the entire keyboard with our right hand and it's always going to sound good check this out Now one quick tip, while you can play any white note, I find that if you start off with these three notes, C, B, and A, and then you move on to anything else for your pattern, for some reason it makes it sound more kind of emotional and sensitive. So check this out. And then again. And again. Now at this point, your friends are gonna think that you're an absolute wizard on piano, but guess what? It gets even better. Because if you take your left hand and you shift it down two notes, so one, two, you can play these two notes and any note in your right hand and the white notes. So what usually I like to do is I usually like to start off in our normal position and then partway through the song, I'll move down to this position. So it's gonna sound like this. See how it kind of adds more depth to the sound? And guess what? If we take this second position and we move it down two more notes, so one, two, we can take this third position and do the same thing. You can play any white note. and it always sounds good. So now you can start at our normal position and you can move down and then you can move down and it's gonna sound like this. And then finally for our fourth position, our last one, if we go here, which is our third position, and we move both of these notes just up one note, 
Again, you can play any white note and it's always gonna sound good. So now we have our four positions for our left hand, right? We have our first one, then we move down two, one, two, then down two again, one, two, and then finally up one. And if you play this, it's going to add so much depth to your sound. Here's what it sounds like. And you can literally just repeat that over and over and you have unlimited music to work with. All right, before we go on to skill number three, and this is the best one, I have one more important tip for you. If you really want your friends to think you're emotional and sensitive, make sure to bob your head back and forth when you play and look really sad on your face. That way they think you're really emotional. It looks like this. <laughs> just kidding. Kind of. Anyway, at this point, your friends are going to think you're an absolute piano master. They're going to be begging you to teach them your ways. But you still got one trick left in your pocket. Trick number three. One final trick that's going to make your friends think that Beethoven himself came back from the grave and got reincarnated as you. And it'll allow you to play hundreds of your favorite songs from the radio with just a few different chord shapes. Songs that you and all your friends know and love that everybody can sing along to. Now, I would teach you that here, but I actually already made a full step-by-step -step tutorial that teaches you the step-by-step process. So click here to watch this video and I'll see you in the next one.